G'day folks, uh, just having a bit of a tidy up and I figured I'd uh, have a quick look up for uh, TRW pretensioners because that's what I'm pretty sure that's, that's what it is because this is a um, piston cylinder or something like that. It's very similar to the uh, electronic type. There's one up here. This is an electronically triggered pretensioner which goes to the belt buckle. Uh, this is out of a Ford car. This one's out of the Daewoo Lanos. Uh, these ones have no electrical connection whatsoever, unlike this one here, so I had a bit of a look around and it is still a pyrotechnic pretensioner. It's just triggered by inertia. Because they don't put that explosives warning on it for nothing. It's not just because of excessive spring tension like some of these have. They always have warnings about not taking the side cover off because there's a giant clock spring in there. But no, this one actually has a striker-fired pyrotechnic mixture inside it. Uh, at the moment, because the belt's retracted, it should be on safe, although I won't assume that it is and start banging it around. But when you draw the seat belt out, this pin, there's a plastic pin going in through there, retracts. So in theory, these should only fire when the belt's been extended out and is being worn. They shouldn't fire when the belt's not in use. But I'm not going to assume that and start throwing it around. Uh, the only way I'm going to do an autopsy on one of these is after it's fired, so that means I'm probably going to have to run the belt out, pin it to the housing and uh, drop it on the floor. Uh, obviously with a high speed camera running at the same time, just so that you can see what happens. But basically all it's going to do is fire that piston up through here, which is attached to a steel cable inside here that's wrapped around the, the um, cord drum. So it's just going to yank that belt tight, pull you back into the seat, and uh, prepare you at the moment of impact. Like the second it detects G-forces, it pulls you back into the seat and pre-tensions any slack on the seat belt. Um, I don't know how effective they are at preventing broken bones, but I imagine it might actually make things a little more painful. Uh, probably not fatal, but at least if there is some slack in your seat belt, it'll help prevent your body from accelerating towards the windshield and potentially uh, breaking more bones, so it wouldn't be fun, but I imagine they've got a decent purpose if they still use them. Uh, I imagine they've also gone more for this approach now, which just pulls the belt buckle down. If I were to fire this now, it should retract this all the way down. It's just attached to steel cables that go through a little uh, roller there. So yeah, if anyone's got any suggestions on what to do with this, apart from just wind it out and throw it on the floor in front of a high-speed camera, uh, let me know. I'm not game enough to dismantle that as it is live. I don't want to find out the hard way that the, the strike is pre-loaded and uh, accidentally release it. It's basically like dismantling a bomb. I don't know enough about it to do it, so I'm not going to do it. It's the kind of thing you'd just rather take out back and just set it off by remote. Anyway, thanks for watching. Post your uh, ideas and let me know what you think. It's kind of interesting stuff. I wasn't expecting to find something like this in such a cheap car. I really wasn't. I didn't. I had no idea these cars came with uh, pretensioners. Mind you, it is 1999 that this was made, so they were starting to roll out that sort of technology. I don't know when this one was made, but it's uh, fairly uh, recent. I like that dynamite Nobel Nobel explosives. But this one's out of a Ford of some description. It was dealer throw out waste, like recall waste, so it's probably been replaced because they had a number of defective ones. I don't really know. The date on it's uh, 2002, 28th of the 2nd, 02. I notice it's got a little shorting pin across, or shorting tab across the pins as well, so you can't accidentally trigger it with static electricity. Interesting stuff. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that one, and, and uh, thanks for watching.